still hear her song Won't you sing me back home Before I die Sing me back home To the place I used to live The song I used to hear Won't you sing me back home Before I die I Sing me back home To the place I used to live
Wow, what's singing by Ricky Addison and Compassion bringing the program on the air. And folks, we're glad to have you on board tonight. And we just welcome everybody. I don't know where you might be from, but you are welcome to Alan Presley Promotions. And we're here to lift up the name of Jesus and glorify the Son of God. Man, that's all the reason we're here tonight. We're glad to have you. Hey, uh, we done been on the radio for an hour, and Brother Jimmy Putman was our guest on the radio on the WOTG network tonight on the radio, and he did a great job, folks, and he always does a good job, and, and we, we're just proud to have him on the radio network, and we're still on the radio network. We'll be on the radio network and Facebook here to 10 p.m. tonight. And we never know what's going to happen on this program. If you'd like to be a part of this program with your finances and helping us out, that we may keep this program on, you can send them to Alan Presley, 611 Ohio 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Here's our address again, Alan Presley, 611 Ohio 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. And folks, we're going to be giving this away Saturday night. It's a case to carry a Bible in. You you people that are new out there, you say, why? What do you mean to carry a Bible in? Well, you got a Bible. Right here is a Bible that we're going to be giving away Saturday night to somebody out there on this program. And it's got right here, it's got the title, A Gift from Alan Presley Promotions. This is Genuine Lever. Got the thumb index, the great Indian paper in it. It's a Bible study Bible. It's, it's got footnotes. It's got all kinds of notes. It's got all time, kinds of great helps right here in it. Somebody Saturday night that listens to this program is going to get this Bible. We will know who will win it Saturday night. On April the 1st, Lady Presley, get your ring, get your necklace ready to show it. On Saturday night, uh, we'll give this Bible away. But on Monday, is April the 1st, we're going to start another gift. We're going to give another one of these Bibles away, just like this for the month of April. Going to be, as I hear, a gift from Alan Presley Promotions. But that's not all of it. Lady Presley, show them. Stand up and show them here what they're going to get to. Now, we're going to change it around. Uh, get up close where they can see it. We're going to change the uh, the rules around. Uh, we're going to do it different next month. And tell them about the ring. Tell them about the cross. I won't say ring, but it's a uh, cross. It's an 18-inch chain, and the uh, cross is a 14-carat diamond pendant. And man, that, that is a pretty cross, pretty cross. And we'll be taking two phone calls at the end of the program. Lady Presley will give you the key word that you must have when you call in. You must have the key word. But you, you, you listen to the program and you will get the key word very soon. And we got coming up to sing is a great friend of mine. He is a great friend. We're known, as some of us know, as a three musketeers. And we just about like the three musketeers. And both, all three of us, a little bit sneaky. Pastor Gary Hawley and Jimmy Put Putton. He, he's a little bit sneaky too, don't you think, Linda? Putman. Huh? Don't yeah. you think he's a little sneaky? Yeah. I think, I think he is too. And uh, folks, he uh, he is the one that's needing a kidney. We need to desperately uh, get this kidney for him. And I believe we're going to get it. I got faith in God, and I'm trusting God, and I believe we're going to get it. And they must have old pasta blood or old nectar blood. And that gets, that'll gets get you started. Can't be over 70 years of age. But folks... And be in good health. And be in good health. You got to be in good health. And if you know anybody like that or you like that, give us a call right here at 423 271 Six two four seven four two three two seven one six two four seven. And by the way, we're on Facebook too. We own several different pages on Facebook. 
So we're not hard to find if you want to find us. We need to help Brother Jimmy out. And and I know God is going to help him. He's a great Christian man. He loves the Lord, and he can sing too. He's a great singer. And uh, folks, let's work hard. Make that a prayer item. Make that a major prayer, prayer item, and it is. And we're going to hear Jimmy Putman sing a few songs right now. And Lady Presley, what are you going to be singing? Uh, when dust shall sing. When, when, what now? When dust shall sing. When dust shall sing. I don't know if I heard this or not. Yeah, yeah. We, okay, here's Jimmy Putman. Like I said, he he was live. He'd been on the phone with us on the radio side. And folks, take a listen to him right now. On that resurrection morning, when the trump of God shall sound, and the saints shall rise up out of the grave, and those that remain shall be caught up and changed, and we shall forever be with the Lord. I know you can do it, man. You're, you're doing it already, there. I stood beside the graveside of loved ones. Listen to this song, folks. Have you ever stood beside I a graveside? Can you see? needs a kidney and we're going to help him. We Christians are going to help him.
If you knelt beside the rubble of an aching, broken heart, when the things you gave your life for fell apart, you're not the first to be acquainted with sorrows, guilt, or pain. The master promised sunshine oh, after the rain. Hold on, my child. You cannot move To risk your life On things you cannot prove But to give these things You cannot keep For what you cannot lose that's the way to find the joy that God has for you. Hold on, my child. WOTG Radio Network. And folks, I want to inform you that we are on a network. A network means more than one station. And so, folks, I want to tell you, we are on the world, the United, the most, the largest network in the United States on the internet. They, they own about 12 different internet radio stations. And we and then adding some more. We are on the largest internet network in the United States of America. And folks, we are glad to be here. We're glad to be on the radio, sharing the news of Jesus Christ. And folks, we are in desperate in need of helping Brother Jimmy Putton out to get that new get that kidney to help him out. He can extend his life for a number of years. And so we, we work on it, get word out, and let's, let's send people up and get them, get them 
and shake and give them a qualification of helping them get that kidney. Hey, uh, we got coming up to sing a guy we met Sunday, and he gave me some music. His name is Thomas Brown, and we're going to take a listen to him sing right now.
What a great job!
people's minds is all now mixed there's no up in the devil's got their minds mixed up. They don't even know no more the what the Word of God is. They don't even know what the Word of God is saying. No they live on their own emotions the in their own way. The fact that they're going to make it, they're going to make it into heaven. They know how to find the Word of God. singing that high part there. And folks, I remember Arthur Rice, and I heard him do that live a few times. And man, he really can get up there. Here's Greg Sullivan. <laughs> I gave you my life. 
that now is Jim Vassar. He's that snowbird up there in Michigan. program tonight and uh, we got a call here but we're going to put them on the line here in just a minute but you see this bible here we're going to give us away saturday night a gift from Alton Presley promotions and it's great and it's genuine lever a very expensive bible the thumb index and everything all right lady presley what's the key word for tonight esther huh esther 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 in the bible what uh yeah. Yeah, Esther. That's the key queen, word. Don't queen, forget that. The book of Esther. Queen either. Esther. Yeah, the book of Esther. We got somebody on the line. And like, you ain't telling me who it is. Do you know who it is? What? No, I didn't answer the phone, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, you do know. Here we go. Let's see who it is, okay? Well, we'll hold on just a minute, folks. Okay, we ready. Who we got out there? Well, you got Brother Jimmy Putman. 
Jimmy Putt again? You was yeah. a, you was the yeah. guy that's the. You've been pulling my leg yeah. all day. Remember, Jimmy? I got to tell you something. What's that? You and Gary Hawley is trying to talk me out of being <laughs> sneakier. Well, we're just having fun with you, Alex, and we just love picking at you. It's so much fun. You know, Christians have fun. Hey, Amen. <laughs> yes. You know, the Lord's been good. He's been good to this program, their listeners. God is good. You know, each morning I get up, you know, and I, many of my listeners, our listeners, they pray to the Lord to help them walk today and walk by our side. And, you know, he's never failed me. He's never turned me down. All I've had to do is just come to him, Brother Allen. I'm so thankful tonight. Mm -hmm. I am really thankful for my Lord tonight and thankful for WOTG. Thankful for you, Brother Allen, that you love the Lord so much. And, uh, you know, we have fun at times of time, but uh, God opens many doors through our love for each other. And, uh, you know, I just really want to thank the people that's listening tonight. I won't take a whole long time, but I want to tell you just a little bit of a story that I've learned. While I was up in Nashville to the doctor, uh, I talked to my coordinator, and my coordinator talk to me different. She says, Jimmy, what are you doing? God is really blessing you. And I said, yes, ma'am, he is. And what are you talking about? And she says, people from the show that's on the program, the Alan Presley program, are calling in and asking, is it anything they can do? Now, they tell them, you know, they've had leg problems and back problems but they still want to call in and that's just amazing to me that's just the work of God that is love beyond measure like Jesus died on the cross you know we're supposed to look like Christ and be like Christ and with our love so I just want to thank everyone tonight and I want to tell you I feel your love <laughs> I feel your love I feel your kindness I feel your prayers I feel the hand of Jesus. When I heard that, so many of y'all have called in knowing that you probably couldn't do it, but you just felt the call to on this journey that I'm on, you wanted to be a part of it. So glory to God. Praise his wonderful name, for he is wonderful. There is no other name like the name of Jesus. The power is in the blood. So I I just want to say, with all my heart, it's not about, you know, all about Jimmy. It's about what God wants, and he's opening up many doors. I'm so proud to be a part of this program. I'm so proud to have this opportunity tonight to tell you that I love Jesus, and he loves me, and that, just, that makes my heart melt. And uh, I want you to keep on praying, because I'm telling you, I know God is real. His, he is, he can do these things. I've seen him do lots of things. And uh, Pastor Holly, I love him. I talked to him today. He's blessed my heart. Bless him. Such a wonderful pastor. We need more pastors like that. More understanding of God's will in our lives. But tonight, I'm a little bit leaning to something else that's bothering me. I know spring is coming, and the trees are turning green. They put the leaves out. I know the water is looking pretty, and the grass is getting green. But I, and, but I know also, too, how big God is, how big our Lord God is in Jesus. He was there when the creation of the earth and laid the lines down to form and draw and put everything, the moon in place, the sun in place. Oh, what a mighty God, a mighty, mighty God we serve. So to that, I just want you to realize that we got spring coming on, Easter coming up, the risen Savior came out of that grave, took, took, the, took the death away. We don't have to die. We can live for Ever. But the thing about this, folks, is tonight, I'm very happy. I'm very insured. Thank you so much for your prayers. It really made me smile. It really made me happy. And uh, thank you, Alan. Thank you, everyone. Love you. Love you so much. Jimmy.
Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, Pastor Holly says, to tell you when we're down in the valley, we cry, Lord, lift us up, and we yeah. want to go higher with you. Oh, what a wonderful, this, I love this man. I love everyone that speaks about Jesus and the power of God. I mean, look, folks, I live in a nice home, but this ain't my home. This is just a getting ready place. Oh, I'm proud of what he gave me, whatever it is that I've worked for, but he gave me my health to bring me this far. Now, I've been singing and praise the Lord, but I can't be perfect. You can't be perfect, but we can be perfect when we bow our heads at night. When we say, Lord, you have got this. Lord, forgive me for I know not what I've done. And Lord, forgive me for what I've done. Now, this is a clear, this sends a clear signal to God, to our Lord and Savior. If we keep a clear mind and a clear conscience, God will bless us. That we're serving a big God. We just don't understand sometimes how big and mighty God is. I'm going to live in that home where it will not rust. It will not fall down from termites. It will not decay. I'm going to a city made of gold. But beyond that, they, the Bible says it's only one way to God. Only one way to that city. And that's through Jesus Christ. Oh, God has done such a wonderful thing to ask his son to come. And then Jesus did not refuse him. He came. He came. And he left them. He became human and God. But he became to, to be human, to suffer the pain of sin and to, and to take the cross and and. Get up on the cross. This is this is God. This is the God that created the world you're in, and the one to come, the world to come, where you never grow old, you never be sick, you'll never you'll never have a cloudy day. There'll never be a night for Jesus will be the light. Look, folks, it's time. It's time right now to let our mouths and our hearts speak to the people about. God's love. He he showed it on the cross. He, he rose the third day from the grave. Hallelujah. He came up out of that grave, conquered death, hell. Uh, you know, hell was made for the, the angels, for the ones that was kicked out of heaven. They were so bad. That's what hell was made for. It was not made for you and me. But yet, if we reject Christ, and if we turn him away, if you want to live for the devil and then suffer eternity, this is a choice that you have. You can blame it on no one. You can blame it on yourself at judgment seat if you do not know my Lord and Savior. Now, I'm going to say just a little bit more. You turn your life over to Jesus. Look, I sang, and I'm very happy when I sang, because I know what I'm singing about. And I, I'm sure that God is going to help us with this kidney. When I heard there's people coming to this clinic and calling and asking, what can I do for Brother Jimmy Cut? Folks, that shows me the power of God. We're all loved the same by God, by our Lord and Savior, Jesus. So tonight, I won't say again, thank you, Brother Allen. Thank you, for WTG. Thank you, all the listeners. Thank you for joining me on this journey. God bless the ones that's trying. God bless you and give you strength. Lord, I, 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 I mean, I really want to go on for the Lord. I really want to enjoy, and I can say a lot about my family, and I love my family. I love my children. But I've been on this journey for Jesus. <laughs> I tell you, I just can't say it. Let me say it again. Okay, here we go. I've been on this journey for Jesus. He's been beside me. He's never failed me. I failed him. But he's never failed me. He's picked me up like clay. He's put me back together. Put the song in my heart, the love of Jesus in my heart. I 
promise you, to try to come to him. We're living in a time. We're getting closer. Look at our country all over the world, Britain, England. Look at the country, the big, the big countries. The mighty kingdoms are starting to crumble around us. And wars upon wars that God said we would see. Let's don't forget this. Let's don't let spring and the good things that we have keep us away from Jesus. Now, again, thank you so much. You know who you are that called up there. God bless you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. I'm so full. I know God is real. Amen. Amen. Praise Lord. Hey, Brother Jimmy, uh, uh-huh. we want you to have prayer with us, too. Uh, uh, Lady Presley's wanting to have something. And uh, Pastor Holly said to uh, pray for three of his church members that are sick and also pray for Margaret. She's got that fibromyalgia or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yes, his wife. Yeah. Yes, his wife. And right. pray, pray for all these broken hearted and those that oh. listen to the program that's not oh, yes. saved too. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. When you get ready, Brother Jimmy, you can have oh, that yes. prayer. Thank you. Thank you for asking me to do this. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We come to you knowing, God, that you hold a love beyond love. We have this love in our heart for one another, but God, for you to send your son, it's unbelievable that we have this opportunity to live forever and go to heaven, Lord, and live with you to stand before the throne room. Father, we know that the Bible says the saints, the Christian people, are under the front of the throne, and they're they're praying that you, God, would bring an end to this country. But your mercy, Lord, your great, your mercy, is holding on for one more soul to be saved. And as somebody that hears me tonight praying, he is dealing with you. He is talking with you. He, you may have made a commitment. You may have made promises, many of us has, but you may have made promises tonight that you want to keep. Oh, don't wait no longer. Lord, we just ask you tonight to bless Brother Holly's, but his wife, Lord, that you just touch her, Lord, and lay your hand upon her father. But we know miracles come from you, Lord Jesus. We know our God. We know our Savior. There's nothing too big for you, Lord. And Lord, we just ask, Lord, all the prayer requests that's been requested tonight. Lord, we just ask for people that suffer with kidney cancer, Lord. The hospitals are full. This world is full of pain and sorrow. But, Lord, sometimes we take our eyes off of you. But, Lord, help us, Lord, to lean to you, to walk with you, Lord. While I'm on this journey, God, you know I bow my head. I humbly pray to you, Lord, to bless this station. Lord, I want all the listeners, Father, to be blessed by your wonderful love, Father. Continue to lead us in this radio station, Father. Continue to bless Brother Allen and Linda. Oh, Father, what a joy they have brought to us. Father, what a love of many years of serving you, Father. This is the reason, God, you led me here. I see the wonderful love, the miracle of your love in these people. I thank you so much, Father, for the listeners. I pray that they ask more people to come on, that we reach more people. There's no limit, Father, that what we can do, Lord, if we just all pull together in one mind and one accord. And, Father, I just thank you tonight. I thank you for your love and your mercy. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father, for helping me, Lord, on this journey. Lord, I know you're you're knocking on hearts, and I know, Lord, that there's a reason for all this, Father, and I accept the reason. I accept the journey, Lord, and I thank you so much, Father, for all these wonderful blessings that you've given us. Father, we love you, Father. We thank you, God, that Jesus died on the cross and shed his blood, Father, that loved us enough to rise from the grave on the third day, Lord, to conquer the death and hell, Father. We praise your wonderful name tonight. We praise you, Lord. We lift you up in the name of Jesus in our songs, Lord, and in our prayers, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord, for walking.
doctrine with me. Thank you, Lord, for watching over for the kids that's in the hospital, Lord. We do not want to forget these little children that have the problems, the children that don't have Christian mothers and daddies, Lord. Lord, put me where you want me to be. Let me keep on walking with you, Lord, and let's burden my heart, Lord, that I may pray for the things that you can do, for you hold the power, Lord. You hold the future for my life, Lord. May we seek you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name I pray, Lord. And your precious Son, my Lord and my King, Jesus Christ. Amen. Brother Jimmy, we got the song. You mentioned it in your prayer about okay. Jesus rising again. And we're going to play that song of you singing it, Rise Again. Uh, before you, Thank you. Hey, hold on, Brother Jimmy. Before you start that, I, I failed to mention this. I was listening to the news tonight, and we had a three-year-old over in Madisonville, Tennessee, that got burned up in a house fire today. So everybody up there, pray for that family. They took three other people to the hospital, but they re released them. They're all right, but the three-year-old burn up in the fire. My, my, my. And that was in Madisonville. My, my, y'all. Let's keep them in prayer. I know Brother Allen's going to say that, and you just said it, Linda. There's, you know, sometimes we get comfortable sitting in our recliner, but we must, y'all, we must pray for each other. Well, we think it looks so great, but it's not that great around here. So uh, what I'm saying is enjoy your life. Enjoy what God gives you, but do not fail to bow your head and pray for the people that's in pain and sickness. And thank God for what you have, for he's got a reason. But you know, one day we're going to know. One day we're going to know. Thank you, Linda. Hey, Brother Jimmy, we yeah. love you, and God's going to get you that kidney. Hey, man, I just, we're going to do some shouting. I've, I've been known to praise the Lord a little bit. And, uh, and I've been known to raise my arm when I'm singing. But let me tell you something. It's no sweeter feeling to have the love of God in your heart. I, I, just, I tell you what, I love to sing. But it, it's, I don't think if I had to pick one or another, I'd be picking the Holy Spirit walking with me. I'd be, honestly, I'd be picking the Lord walking with me. And I sing songs that's true to the Word of God. But... Uh, it's good being a Christian. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Brother Jimmy. God Thank bless you. you. We love Thank you, boy. And, uh, hey, hold on a minute. Lady Preston. No, I, I was just wanting to say something about this song. Okay. And Brother Jimmy, we'll let you go, and we're going to hear you sing. Okay, bro. Okay. Let okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Tony wanted you to play. Uh, Tony wanted you to play a song of Jimmy and, uh, and, uh. Tony who? Boring. We have, you need to tell last name. We don't well, know Tony, just Tony. <laughs> well, this is for Jordan, and after we play this one, we're going to play another one for Jordan. Yeah, we're going to do that, and, uh, then we got another request, you know, that we're going to play yeah. too. Yeah, And, folks, uh, Brother Jimmy touches her heart. He's a great Christian, and we love him. And he's been on the program here twice tonight already. But we came to great honor to have him here on the program. We're going to listen to him sing right now. Let's take a listen to Brother Jimmy Putton. Here, take a listen. Yeah. 
song coming up right after this one and we're going to play uh, Michael Combs and uh, Lady Presley uh, we everybody needs to take this matter of helping to locate a kidney for Brother Jimmy very very serious and folks uh, we as Christians let's work hard to help Brother Jimmy locate that kidney it's, it's work overtime if it takes it and whatever it takes Let's get the right prospect in here for a kidney transplant. I know it's going to happen. We don't know how it's going to happen, but we know it's going to happen. And, and Lady Presley, before we get this next song, who's got a birthday out there? Uh, uh, Jordan is nine years old today. Is he on the program tonight? Uh, Jordan? Well, I don't know. I guess he's listening. Tony's on. Yeah. Hey, Jordan, happy birthday, congratulating to my good friend and my great friend and my good friend and my great friend, Jordan. Happy birthday. Hey, Tony, you get up there and give Tanya, give him a big old hug and tell him that's from Alan and Linda. And this next song is for Jordan. Hey, Jordan, this song is for you. Kevin Spencer made it for guys like Jordan. Here it is. Here it is. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jordan. Congratulating. Jordan, he's nine years old today, but he acts like he's a man nearly, and he, he does talk like a man reading that Bible and reading that scripture. Hey, we got coming up now is Michael Combs, and he's going to sing Drinking from a Saucer. Take a listen right here. Facebook, we need to get these 
promotions right here on the WOTG radio network and folks we're going to have call-ins here to at least two call-ins here tonight from the bible we're going to give this bible to somebody out there that listens to this program this saturday night and it's getting close to every night genuine lever and it's a study bible it's a study bible Look at all the helps it's got in. King James Version Bible. Genuine lever. We've got the de- uh, thumb that de- things where you can find the book of the Bible fast. And, and it's got that great Indian paper, that pretty, pretty, pretty paper. Red letter editions. All the words of Jesus said. Red letter editions. The lady president, what's the name of this Bible? Tyndall? 
Kindle. It's a Kindle Bible. And and this is no and this is no cheap Bible. It's a great Bible. Now, the roadmap to heaven, huh? Tyndale. Tyndale Bible. And he got a brief got a, a case here to carry your Bible in to keep it beautiful and pretty. Somebody Saturday night will be getting this Bible. We're gonna give another away in April, plus the pretty uh cross, uh fourteen carat. Diamond tender. We'll be starting that on Monday, but we're going to take we're going to take some phone calls, but we're not going to take them right now, closer to the end of a program. But I'm going to give you the phone number in case you want to write down. If you don't have no paper, jot it down on your finger. Hit a wash off with some Ajax. And that's it, the same Bible that Pastor Holly uses. Yeah, Pastor Holly uses that Bible too, and it's a good Bible, great Bible, pretty Bible. Anybody, about everybody want to, have, want to have a Bible like that, man. It's pretty. Here's my phone number, 423-271-6247. We'll give that again at the time we take phone calls, 423-271-6247. I love all these books in the Bible, and especially, man, I, I love all of them. That book of Esther is an exciting book. It is an exciting book, man. It's dynamite, like dynamite, you know. It's just great. And we got a song coming up right now. And this is Second Generation. Oh, Second Generation. She'll be here Friday. Friday afternoon. Man, she's going to leave early that morning. And she'll be riding in here Friday afternoon. Who? Brenda Dentney. Formerly of second generation. Man, we can't wait on Brenda again. I know they won't be no sleep on Friday night. She'll say, oh, yes, they are. That's what she'll say. Hey, we love Brenda, didn't he? Noted for a number of years. Whole number of years, too. 10, 11 years, as a matter of fact. And she'll be here live on the program Friday night. Be in his presence church on Sunday morning. Right there in Greenback, Tennessee, and be at uh, a church up in Tabert, Tennessee, on Sunday night. We're looking forward to Brenda being here. She's even sung many times on the big stage, the National Quartet Convention, on the main stage. Brenda will be on her way early Friday morning from Arkansas. We're going to listen to her sing. This great song, Hanging on a Nail. That's when it's the second generation. Hold on, folks. Here we go.
Lubbock, Texas, the Cowboy State. Folks, we are going to open our phone lines up here in just a minute. We're going to take <coughs> two call-ins tonight. And if you'd like to get your name in on the for the giveaway of this great Bible here and this beautiful Bible, King James Version, Red Letter Edition, the fun the index there where you can find the books of a Bible fast, genuine lever. It's got only a gift from Alan Preston Promotions. This is a great Bible. It's a great study Bible. And our phone number is 423-271-6247. And we're going to play a song while we're waiting on the call tonight. Well, i got something to say first. What? Uh, Mike Smith said, where is my truck? You know what? I answered him back. What? It's in the living room in the toy box. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, Mike Smith, you need to show up up here some night and help me on this program. Man, I like that guy. Hey, 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 he, he believes in having a good time. He's full of joy, man. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Like me and Gary Hawley and Jimmy Putton out there, too. Man, I tell you what, this is great. Hey, by the way, who we got coming up to sing while we're waiting on the phone call? Uh, the Sharps. The Sharps. Mike Smith's in his, too. 423-271-423. Two six one. Let that come phone number. <laughs> he <laughs> said, "That's not funny, Linda." <laughs> hey, Linda, Linda. Four two three. Two seven one. Six two four seven. Yeah, call us now and put get your name in the hat for this Bible giveaway Saturday night. Here we go with the sharps, and he might get on here and. Pop one off on why he's singing here too. You reckon, Linda? <laughs> Mike Smith, you Mike gotta get Smith, up here. Gotta get up here, here we go. Pick your phone up. Give us a call, folks.
call in here tonight and it's somebody calling in about the Bible and we're going to see who it is right now, okay? you on the WOTG Radio Network with Alan Presley. Who we got out there? Hey, Brother Presley, you got Sandy Green. Susan Green. I Sandy. Sent, Sandy Green. Green. Sandy, I, yeah. sent, I sent you a friend request and I reckon you accept me yet. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> hey, hey, what, what's that key word tonight? Esther. You got it. So you qualify, and we say congratulations, Sandy. All right, that sounds great. Okay, enjoy, we'll know Saturday. Enjoy your, do yeah, what? Enjoying your show. Thank you. How's that Randy doing? Right now. Okay. We're gonna <laughs> hey, we're gonna let you go. We got another call in, okay? Okay, all right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello? Well, I don't guess we got that now. That's call back, Linda. Right. We we was on the phone on the line and and a few if you missed the call and we didn't get it, call us back at four two three two seven one. Six two four seven. That was Sandy Green out there in Texas. Man, we give Texas a big hand too tonight. We give everybody a big hand tonight. So keep that phone line busy. We got another phone call we can take. We had one, but there's bumping heads with the other callers. So call back if you're listening to the program. Call back. And Lady Presley, who's this singing next? Uh, the Sherry's. Okay, here we go. Take a listen. Call, pick that phone number up. Call, get your name in for this Bible here coming up Saturday night. We're going to give it away. Let's take a listen.
in the book of in the Bible. I love that book of she was, Esther. She was a queen. Huh? She was a queen. She was a queen, wasn't she? Queen Esther. Yeah, Esther. Here we go, folks. Pick the phone line up for 232-7-1-6247. There's a place that I return to when the world turns upside down. All I have to do is listen to those sweet old gospel sounds And the words sound so familiar like some long forgotten friend When I see Folks, you're listening to Alan Presley Promotions right here on the WOTG Radio Network. We are a broadcast by faith, sponsored by you, the listeners, and and we we operate on donations, and and you're helping us keep our program on the air. So if you'd like to help us keep this program going and keep it going, send your love offerings and your donations to Alan Presley, 611 Ohio Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee. Three seven eight seven four. Give your phone number again. Four two three two seven one six two four seven. And if you know somebody to qualify to help with the kidney donation and uh, helping Brother Jimmy get that kidney transplant, you can call that number too. Or if you want to put your name in the hat for the drawing of this Bible Saturday night. And believe me, it's a study Bible. I mean, it's a very expensive Bible. You can call me at 423-271-6247 right now. And here's my mail address again. Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. And why you want picking up the phone to call us to put your name in the app for the Bible, we're going to listen to the primitive quartet sign. Take a listen. Yeah. 
then cursed him and smelled all our Savior. He cried, Father, forgive them. Then he paid the debt. He paid my debt. What love and such mercy. promotions on the WOTG radio network, Sweetwater, Tennessee. We still can take a phone call. I couldn't understand it when I'd see the saints of God lift their voice and make the raptors free. I thought it's so peculiar, but now all has changed because I'm born again for
close to time here when we got a phone caller and let's see who it is. You on Alan Preston Promotions. Who we got there? Grant Copeland from Australia. Greg who? Grant. Greg Grant from where are you from? Newcastle, Australia. 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 Yeah. What, what was the key word tonight? Yeah, you're right. You got it. Congratulations. Thank you, Alan. And you live in Australia? <laughs> yes, I do. Man, we welcome you aboard. We appreciate you picking our program up tonight. I've been listening for a while. I'm a friend of Elizabeth Lawson. Oh, okay. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Your, we, your name will go in the drawing. We're going to draw Saturday night. Yeah, your name gets go in there for the drawing, okay? That'll be wonderful. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Bye-bye. Man, Australia tonight. Man, what about that? The Kingsman. <laughs> What a fellowship, what a oh, 
them check hands with everybody. Send them buttons up to everybody. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine leaning on the everlasting arms. Lean on Jesus, lean on Jesus, safe and secure from all alarms. Lean on Jesus, lean on Jesus, leaning on the everlasting arms. Secure from all alarms. Leaning on Jesus, leaning on Jesus, leaning on the everlasting arms. Call from unavailable. Phone still ringing, folks. Hello. right here on the WOTG radio tonight from Sweetwater, Tennessee. And folks, we've had a great time tonight, and we've had some call-ins on the Bible, and we've had a good testimony from Brother Jimmy Putman and had prayer and more. You can't do no more in what we've done tonight for God. Man, I tell you what, it's just great being here. And we're looking forward to tomorrow night of being on the program again. And we'll be on the WOTG Radio Network right here from Sweetwater, Tennessee. And folks, invite people to get on a program. And I hope if you out there listening on Facebook, I hope you shared the program because we need to get everybody listening. We're trying to get the world to come to Jesus Christ. And, and, and we want to see the world get saved. And we're working hard as we can trying to get Brother Jimmy Putman that kidney, kidney, and help us out. Help us out. We need, we need to make sure he gets that. We need to do it very soon before he gets on those dialysis. And if he gets on dialysis, his chance gets a lot slimmer, slimmer. And we need to make that urgent, very urgent. We're sending out uh, wanted posters all over Facebook. And where you going to keep seeing them come up on Alan Presley's promotions like never before. You're going to see them all the time on our, till we get that kidney from Brother Jimmy. And may the Lord take a liking 
uh, to you, and God bless you. May we all take a liking unto God. He's great, he's good, and there's none ever like him. None ever named under heaven is like Jesus Christ. And folks, let's lift him up and live for him. And how you live for him, somebody might say. Keep your nose buried in the book. That book, the Bible, is the road map to heaven. And you aren't going to go no other way. There's no other way you will get there. There's no way possible. No way possible. Going through Christ and living by the word of God is the only way you're going to make it. You will not make You say, Alan, you're judging. No, I'm not judging. God judges. And, the, and his book says that. That's what we live by. That's the rule book. It's not your decision. It's not my decision. But when you study that Bible, that is your rule book. No other way. We say God bless you. And you all have a great night and a good night. And may we all love the Lord thy God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Remember those prayer requests. Remember the brokenhearted. And we're going to say good night and God bless you. Hope to see you tomorrow night. And Lady Presley, you better, you better not make me work too hard. Well, you need to get up uh, since we don't have no doctors for much. Well, you know, you know, Lady Presley. I've been working today. I did the wash. I hung clothes. Yeah, but you know, you know, you know what, I Lady Presley. The now the bathroom's need cleaning. Brenda Dittany will be over here and she can help us. <laughs> I don't think she's wanting to clean no, she the bathroom. So. Hey, hey, hey we, me and Brenda have a lot of fun. She, we have a lot of fun. You just have to get up in the morning and clean bathrooms. What about Gary coming down doing that? Pastor uh, Gary. I don't think he's going to either. You don't think he's going to either? Mm -mm. I know if Bradley can say, I don't do bathrooms, I know Gary can say the th same thing. Well, I don't, don't do bathrooms either. All long, <laughs> all long words. Well, we better get out of here, lady. Good night, everybody. Good God night. bless you. See you tomorrow. Have a good night's sleep. <laughs> You're meddling again, Alan. Yeah. If I must want to go on, it don't want to cut off tonight. You want me to get it off? Yeah, you better. It ain't cutting off.